Hey everyone, today's video is going to be about epilators and epilating. I'm going to kind of be doing a comprehensive video on every single little thing you're going to need to know about epilators. I'm really really sorry about the noise if you can hear it in the background. My neighbour literally, just as I started filming, said that I wanted to put their lawnmower on and this is the only time I have to film a weekend. So if you guys can hear it, and it does bother me, you won't be seeing the video, but obviously if you can't hear it too badly, obviously that goes without saying whatever. So I'm going to get right into the video because it's probably going to be quite long so I will if I remember, I will put little like time clicky things you can click to go to each section just in case you already know what an epilator is, etc, etc. So yeah, um, one thing I want to say is do check the down bar for the links that I'm going to be talking about in the video. Also, you'll want to um, wait till the end to ask, ask any questions because it's likely that I will have answered them in the video. So without further ado, let's start talking about epilators. So the main question on everybody's minds is likely to be what is epilating? So, epilating is basically a type of hair removal using an epilator, which is like an electronic device. So, t epilating is like sort of a whole new section of hair removal because you know there's the main three, which are you know waxing, shaving, and tweezing. So, I'm just going to quickly tell you the pros and cons of those ones. Waxing, um, obviously, a con is a, it's painful, but then again, epilating can be painful too. So, I'm not going to use that as one, but. You know, the pros are you get a long lasting result, um, but the con is you have to wait a long time to do it again. So just say you get your legs waxed every single month, you're basically going to get two weeks, probably actually going to be longer that you're going to have to wait before you shave, but just for example, this isn't really realistic, but you do get, you probably get less results than this actually, but you get two weeks of no hair, then you get two weeks of hair, and then two weeks no hair, two weeks hair, so it just kind of defeats the purpose of being getting waxed because you're just going to be as hairless, you know? You're equally as shaven or clean shaved or hairless as you are hairy so it really makes no point and there's no point in it, kind of what I'm trying to say. Um, shaving, it's kind of the opposite, you can do it whenever you want, you can do it, I know some people do it every day, some people do it every month, you know, whatever floats your boat. Um, but then the problem with that is that your hairs grow back thicker and blacker which obviously is not attractive if you're like me and during the winter you don't <laughs> you're too lazy to shave <laughs> so embarrassing but just say you forget about it one day and you put shorts on because it's a hot some winter's day and then you go outside and everybody's like Jesus Olivia you look like you've got wildebeests on your legs and you're like oh man it's embarrassing so that's not good but then again if you waxed they'd be shorter or they'd be less black so it wouldn't be as bad and the final one is tweezing where you know, you're basically pulling it right from the root. That's a pro. But then the con is, of course, you can't do your legs with tweezers. You would literally want to kill yourself by the end because it'll take you too long. So epilating is basically taking the best things out of those three and like mix them together, and then poof, epilator popped out. So you're getting the convenience of shaving. You can do it almost well whenever you want, kind of when the hairs are there, because it does give a long-lasting result, like waxing. But um, just say they grow back in a week. You can do it every week. You can do it, I think the hairs can be as short as 0.5 millimeters. so that is when they're just spiking out of the skin. So if you guys have a ruler, just look at it, you can see how short it is. I would show you a ruler, but it won't be to scale. You guys won't, won't really help you guys at all, but you know what I'm saying. You're going to get the sort of results of waxing because it is long lasting, um, and then tweezing, it works with tweezers. So, um, that's everything that I'm going to tell you about what an epilator is, so on to the next section. The next section, or well this section, is going to be my epilator and what it looks like, what model it is and stuff like that. So um, I'm just going to flip my mirror off, I've been, had, had the mirror down this entire video, I seem to be able to see that you guys can actually see the epilator. So when you purchase this epilator, you're going to get, um, obviously the device, I'll show you that in detail in a second. But the device you can break apart, like you can, sort of, hold on, you can take off the actual head because there are different heads so you've got you know the little the main part epilating head you've got a shaving head just in case you're like super duper hairy you might need to shave before you epilate um i've lost one of the oh no here we go you've got instruction manuals you've got a it actually comes with a six month or a year warranty like guarantee they'll replace it insurance whatever it's called if it doesn't come with one i will leave the link down there you get a brush and a bag. So you guys probably want oh and of course the power cable. So you guys are probably wondering what model it is, seeing as I haven't mentioned it yet. Um, it is the Remington Smooth and Silky. It looks like this. 
and it is the model EP6020. Details will be in the below bar if you forget or you couldn't understand my accent. Um, so you have to have it plugged in at all times is probably the thing that I need to mention. So here is what the head looks like which is what a lot of you are like to be interested in. So I know my camera isn't going to focus very well so I'll hold it back here. I would love to hold it in closer but I really can't. So these little silver things are tweezers. You have 42 of them in, in, in entirety on this um, little device. So you've got 42 little mini tweezers that are going to pull out up to, I think, like each time. You probably, for, in one section you could pick up anywhere between 5 to 42 hairs, depending on how long they are, depending how concentrated they are. But you sort of just go up and down like you do with shaving, but I'll talk about that later in the video. But you know, so up here they are clo open and then they close. They'll pluck the hairs up open, close, open, close. You get the message. And this is supposed to be a massaging head. Really doesn't do anything for me. I wouldn't care if it wasn't there, so whatever. On off switch, um, you've got, it's got a safety lock. So you can't like accidentally turn it on or flick it off when you're doing it. So you need to actually push on the button. Considering the fact that I've got it plugged in, I'm going to show you the rotations of it now. So you push the button in and I'm going to show you one which is for thin hair, two which is for coarse hair. You probably won't be able to understand what I'm saying because it is very loud so I'm just kind of like just a one and two. It's going to be really really lame but whatever. So you've got one which is, hold on, I have to hold it to my face. So you've got one and two. One, two, one, two. So it doesn't really speed up um, but it, it speeds up a little bit. It's not like extremely big difference. You would just use, you know, if you had thinner hair, if you are doing your arms, you were doing your legs if you've been waxing, you'd do the thinner side coarser hairs, you'd use it on you know, like your bikini area, armpits, you know, if you've been shaving your legs, you're likely to be coarser, so you'd use it on those too. So that's basically what my epilator looks like, those are the main facts that you're going to need to know. Um, oh, the, the price, um, I got this off of Flybys for 400 points, but I believe it retails for around, I can't remember, like... 60 to 90 dollars i will leave the link to both flybys and the actual epilator on the no leaming website down below and you guys can pick it up if you want to but if you are thinking about it i recommend you listen to the whole video so you can hear everything that i have to say okay guys the next section is going to be how you use it so this is probably going to be quite short because i know there are a lot of demonstrations on youtube and i did just epilate so i can't really show you um i'm just going to give you a quick demo though like not with it on i can show you my hand i guess but it's not really going to satisfy anything so anyways it's so basically my main recommendation when you're doing it I will have some tips at the end but is to just go against hair growth it's the one thing you need to know I feel like if you keep it sort of vertical obviously that's not against hair growth but so this was your leg and you you know down it's hair's growing, hair's growing down so you're going to go up if you keep it vertical I feel like you're getting out more hairs because this is where the air plating actually works rather than down here because it's not there's no air in here so you want to keep it straight up and you sort of just go up and then up and then up and then up and then up you know what I mean you don't go up and down because it really doesn't do anything the speed that you go should depend on what part of the body you're doing I will mention that in the tips and tricks section but that's basically how you use it I really wish I could show you a demo but my camera isn't high quality and I have to show you if I'm hairy or not anyway so it doesn't really make a difference so yeah Okay guys, this section is going to be all about my personal experiences with the epilator. So you can epilate in, I believe, four different areas of your body. You can do your arms, your armpits, legs, and your bikini area. Um, and I've done two of the four, so I've done my armpits and I've done my legs. So I'm going to start out first with my legs and my armpits. I'm going to be covering the pain experiences and stuff like that. I will have a separate section on like my tips and stuff. I don't have very many, but just to keep it all more organized. So let's start with my legs because they are probably the less gross one. Um, so I epilated, I've epilated my legs twice. So I feel like I am kind of used to doing it, but not so super duper used to doing it. The first time I did it, it took me 30 to 45 minutes. I wasn't really timing, but it was a really long time. The second time I did do it last night, it was 15 to 20 minutes. So the pain for doing your legs, I would say overall, um, over the majority of the leg, it's probably like a one out of five. To a two out of five maybe if you get like a really like you know like when you pluck your eyebrows and you have those hairs it really hurt if you have one of those it's probably going to be higher but it really wasn't too bad but there was one section on my legs that hurt the most and that was the underside of my calves not even the underside of my thighs just my calves I really don't know why it was like not my ankles not my knees it was just the underside of my calves um it wasn't so much a pain as it was sort of like 
it was like nagging like it was just keeping on going it was kind of like a nagging pain not like a, oh my god it's excruciating my leg is gonna fall off you know what I mean it was just like over and over and over again I can imagine like it would be what it's like to get a tattoo like from what I've heard not comparing the pain like the same sort of idea that it's just over and over again in the same spot so you're sort of just I'm like itching myself while I'm doing this um, so you kind of start going up, up, up your legs and sort of just plucking the hairs and sort of just getting sick and tired of it. And I, it, it was more irritating, not like, yeah, more irritating than it was like painful kind of thing. Um, that was the, both the first and second times. But I real, I, the one thing that I can say is it hurts more when your hairs are longer. So as I said, um, you can do them as short as 0.5 but the optimum is two to five millimeters. I would recommend doing them in the two to three millimeter zone. One point zero point five is probably too short because I did it then and I did miss so many hairs. Like I missed like half of my legs because I couldn't get all the hairs out. I think it does take a lot longer the shorter they are. So two to three is probably the premium zone that you're going to do it. Five is probably getting a bit too long. As I said, long hairs do hurt. But I mean, if they are five centimeters, you know, you're going to have to do it anyways because otherwise, by shaving, you're just undoing all the effects. So. Just keep an eye on how long your leg hairs are, yeah, but don't actually like measure them, I'm just saying. Get a rough idea of how long they are. Um, but yeah, that's all about legs. Um, the, oh, the one more thing that I want to say is do not use a any kind of perfume in your body lotion. If you don't know if it has perfume in it, you are better off not using it. Because I didn't use lotion the first time, but I was like, oh, I better use lotion just in case I get ingrown hairs. I put a St. Ives one on, and my legs were literally on fire. They were so itchy. I just wanted to like, itch them off, and just thinking about that makes my legs itchy again. But um, it was horrible, so just I recommend you either don't go with any lotion, or you definitely need to use an unperfumed one. Sorry about my voice. I seem to be losing it more and more throughout the video. Um, but yeah. Whew. Now onto armpits, and this section is likely to be kind of gross if you don't like armpits, because obviously, you know, they're about armpits. So, um, I just flipped up my thing, so I might show you my armpits. <laughs> uh, so if you're a boy, you know, uh, any boys in particular, <laughs> you might want to look away now. You know how I'm talking about. Jokes. Um, <laughs> uh, it's an inside joke, okay, don't hate on me. It's an inside joke. Um... I just like got spit all over my face. I need to practice the lip lick because I cannot do it. But yeah, um, armpits, yay! Um, so I did the, well, I did my, I've done my armpits three times basically. Three times all in all because I've done them, I don't know if my maths are probably incorrect. So I did half of this one and then a quarter of this one. No, it's incorrect, I guess, but whatever. I've done it three times in, in theory. So the first time, I did it. I did one half of the side and then a quarter of the side because the pain was, you know, it was quite bad. But let me let me talk, talk to you about the pain first actually So I want to get that out of the way then I'll talk about how many times I've done a crap like that. The pain in the sense of the plucking was actually not that bad. I expected it was going to feel like my armpit was getting ripped off but it really didn't feel that bad at all. It probably felt the same as like the underside of my calves but with a little bit more pain so it was probably a 3 out of 5 pain wise or even like a 2.5 it really wasn't that bad but the thing that really got me was when you went over and over it again because it it was hard to get the hairs out they were also quite short not as short as my legs but they were quite short and um like going over and over it again I think because it's like it's more sensitive down there going over it was sort of like it was it's not really scratchy but I think it was like scratching down there like scratching my armpits not down there god Jesus no, um, <laughs> so embarrassing, um, I didn't actually mean that, I would never do my bikini area, because I could just imagine how painful that would be, and you know, I don't really want to inflict pain on my coochie, so, you know, whatever, anyways, um, armpits, back to armpits, like, going over and over again kind of irritated it, and that it got quite, not, not, like, super rashy, but it was, like, kind of, like, splotchy, and itchy, and burning, um, and then after that, uh, I had some sort of, like, specks of, like, blood, because, you're pretty much plucking a really coarse hair that's been in there for like a long time, you know, since I started puberty. Um, because I've never plucked, like waxed my armpits, I've waxed my legs before, but they didn't bleed because the hair down there I don't think is a sensitive. Um, but that's normal, so yeah. And it hurt, like they were burning so bad I had to give it up. Then the second time I did it, I did it about a week later, I finished off the sum and did pretty much the entire of the sum. And it didn't hurt as bad. I think it's because I used a different technique. I used some other things. I'll tell you about that in the tips and tricks. So that was more like 2.5 of pain. There was 
moderate burning on this side, um, but nothing too bad. I did get the rashiness and the bleeding again because obviously this side hadn't encountered it yet. But then I did it again last night and hallelujah, the sun shines through the clouds. It was amazing, as amazing as plucking your hairs out can be. <laughs> so that was embarrassing. Um, I'm such a dick today. What is wrong with me? But yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> what is my problem? So I just did them so you can see, you know, obviously, ooh, the hairless, there's no shadows. Hallelujah. Ha, ha, ha. You know, just casually look at my armpits. Um, what was I talking about again? Oh, yeah. So I did it again. I had no rashiness, no irritations, no bleeding. Uh, a tiny bit of like burning after I did it for like 10 minutes and then it was gone. Gone burger. There's nothing here now. I'm perfect to go put deodorant on because I recommend actually if you do it for the first time you'll want to do it over a weekend or on a lazy day where you're not going to be going out so if you stink really bad it doesn't matter because deodorant will hurt your armpits you might want to want to put it on yada 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 so just be aware that it might hurt too much to put deodorant on okay so if you're going to go to school you don't want to be a smelly cow at school so like I wasn't a smelly cow but I did it for school and putting deodorant on made me feel like my armpits were going to fall off so you might want to do it when you can just not wear deodorant for the day it might be gross, but you don't want to literally like make your armpits feel like, like honestly the pain was so bad. That was probably the worst pain that I've had relating to epilating, obviously. Um, but yeah. But yeah, it was, oh yeah, it was painless, it was really, really good, and now they, there's no like splotches, because the day after I remember on the other one, they were still pink, they were irritated, now they just look like regular armpits. And they're not going to grow back for quite a while. I feel like the armpits lasted two weeks, legs lasted about one, and now I'm going to tell you, um, I think... As you use it more and more, the time in between the epilating is going to increase, so you're just going to have hairless for longer, so it's going to be really, really great. The one thing I did notice, though, is with my both my legs and my armpits, the hairs were less coarse. Um, my leg hairs and my armpit hairs weren't, weren't really any less black, but they were definitely very, very thin, which is, was so amazing just after one time. Hey guys, this section is going to be on tips and tricks, and I only have two at the moment, I haven't been doing it for that long. It's kind of self-explanatory, but these are the two that I really think you guys should pay attention to. The first one is the speed that you epilate. Now with your legs, I feel like the speed doesn't really matter, but with your armpits, going slow is so much better, because not only do you get more hairs out going slower, but you also... Oh, well, there's like a big cloud of smoke outside. Whoa, I'm sorry. But you also... Um, you won't irritate your skin as much but the main tip that I can give you guys is to use baby powder I am not even kidding you know how I said when I did this arm um, it was less painful and like the second time it was painless it's because I used baby powder like honest to god this is a lifesaver I got no irritation no nothing I went over so fast I was finished in like less than five minutes it was so easy I bought this one because it's like the world's cheapest one and I kind of didn't want to buy like the Johnson's one but this is Silk baby powder, it's like five dollars from Pack and Save, the bottle's really fun to play with. But yeah, I just sort of I sort of get it out onto the table, then with an old brush that I don't use anymore, where did it go? I used to use it in my videos, but I don't use it now. Um just this one here. I sort of just like wash it over my armpits. You yeah, know, I don't really need to use a brush, but I didn't want to like get my hands on it. Until like they were completely smooth, because you know armpits can be smoothy. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory, but just to soak up everything and to make it nice and smooth. And then I did that. It was so much easier. It was honestly amazing. Honestly, it was so much better. I could have like cried. It was better. You know, it was just so painless. Now they are amazing. Ready to put deodorant on. It's like mwah, mwah, beautiful. So yeah, that's my entire video on epilating. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now you guys can leave your questions if you have any. Um, tell me if you found it helpful. Tell me if you're going to buy one. Tell me if you have one. Whatever. Do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, just quickly before I go, I want to mention that I did make a Facebook like page. Link to that will be below. Um, I think I'm going to be announcing a few more things on there, like asking about videos. I do do that on Twitter. You can follow me there too, but not many people follow me on Twitter, so, you know. But do definitely follow me on Facebook, well, like me on Facebook, because uh, I will be updating there, posting pictures, all that kind of junk that's really exciting. So I hope you guys do have a really, really amazing day, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye, everyone.